So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It's an absolutely beautiful afternoon here today in Pennsylvania, but the last couple days hasn't been so nice. Yesterday we had probably four or five thunderstorms. We had some serious rain on and off all day. And then this morning, uh, it was pretty much just overcast and cloudy all day. Well, I came down here to the wood yard and I wasn't uh, overly impressed with my fill that I put in here. I thought I had it tracked in pretty well, but it was really dry when I put it in. And all that rain, it just wasn't real firm. So uh, what I'm doing here, I'm using the skid loader and just kind of tracking it in. I fill the bucket with stones. So the machine weighs, what does it weigh? 12,500 pounds. Figure another ton, ton and a half in the bucket. You know, you're looking at 14,000 pounds, although there's not a lot of ground pressure with those tracks. But just running back and forth on this fill, you can see where it was sinking about an inch or two. So what I'm doing, I'm just kind of tracking it all in, I'm going to put a little bit more stone on it, and I think it'll be good. It's not like it's a road, it's just going to be for storage, but uh, this is nowhere near as good as the fill that I put in for the road. You know, the new road coming down. Over there, it could pour down the rain, you could walk right on it. You can just tell with your feet, even, you know? You can just feel if it's hard or not. Once I uh, put a little bit more stone on here and track it in some more, it'll be sealed up where that water won't penetrate. You can kind of see, now that shale had some clay mixed in with it. That's what I want, get it sealed up. Then when it rains hard, you know, the water will just kind of sheet flow off of it and not soak in. But uh, once I'm done with this, that won't take long at all. We're gonna split some wood. I just brought the uh, log splitter back down because like I said, I'm done splitting wood for a while, which I'm not, but uh, I've got this nice big pile of red oak right here from over at the neighbors. A few saw logs in there, but the majority of that is gonna be cut and split for firewood. And we'll put it in this bay of the woodshed. I cleaned this out this morning. I had the uh, skidding winch in here. Uh, just a bunch of stuff, you know, to keep it under roof. But I put the skid and winch on the MX-5400. Once we get a few dry days in a row, I don't know how long that'll take, I'm going to take that tractor over to the neighbors across the road. If you saw that video the other day, uh, there's some real big white oak and real big red oak. Beautiful stuff way down in a valley behind her house. I got everything out that was up on top. But I think, I'm not sure, but I'm hoping that I can get that stuff out of that valley with the skidding winch. It's steep. And uh, I'm not sure how much cable I have. I think 175 feet. It'll be maxed out all the way down. But I think if I cut them, you know, like in eight foot sections, eight feet, six inches long, I should be able to get them up to the top. And then we'll take the dump trailer back over, excavator back over, and bring them over here to the yard as well. Now, most of those will all be saw logs. Uh, they're really nice. I would probably get, I think there's three big red oaks. No, three big white oaks, one big red oak. I'll probably get, I don't know, 15 or 20 nice eight foot logs out of what's left over there. So Melissa just brought me a few uh, four by fours down. I'm gonna use them over by where I'm cutting wood. I'll just lay my logs on those to uh, keep them out of the dirt. But it turned out to be a pretty nice day, didn't it? has been it's beautiful it's pretty miserable there this morning and yesterday and i thought of a name for this what mike land mike land yeah there's a place in pittsburgh called randy land do you know what that is yeah isn't that like a bunch of hippie stuff or yeah, something yeah he you can probably google it randy land and he has all this like artwork that he's painted like all this other colors and what is that like psychedelic stuff and yeah Drifter, what other motif? Like it's, it's a hippie-ish. Um, Randy Land. Randy Land. So this could be Mikey Land. Yeah. Hey, I got a good story to share about Blueford. Oh. So I think I mentioned before, I bought uh, Blueford off of Craigslist. And I bought it off a real nice guy. He was in his 80s, and he did concrete his entire life, basically. Well, when the ad was on Craigslist, I replied to the phone number on there. And here it was his son. And I don't know how old his son is, never met him or anything like that. And I only talked to him once. 
He then, once he knew I was interested, he gave me his dad's phone number, and then I worked everything out with his dad. Well, I never told his dad anything about our YouTube channel or anything like that. So last night, I texted a video to the son and said, hey, my name's Mike. I'm the guy that bought your dad's old dump truck. I thought he might get a kick out of this. So I sent him one of the videos, and the kid, he was blown away. He was amazed, and he said that truck brings back so many memories from when he was a kid. Because keep in mind, his dad had it 48 years and uh, anyway, he said he's going to show it to his dad. He's sure he'll love it. But he said he's probably looking at a couple hour conversation explaining how YouTube <laughs> is and what's going on. But I said, just tell him Blueford is becoming kind of famous, you know. That's so, right. So I thought that's pretty cool. He'll be able to see his old truck on videos and stuff. So And I learned a lot about Perfect Circle. Perfect Circle, yeah. The mud flaps, Perfect Circle. Uh, there's a guy just commented today that he worked for that company for 38 years. Somebody else lives near that company. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And Perfect Circle, I think they invented, somebody said this in the comments, uh, cruise control, I believe. Wow. Of all things. How about that? But anyway, better get back to work. Things are starting to shape up down here, huh? It looks good in that gravel, has a gravel smell. It does, it smells like limestone. <laughs> it does, I'm like running cameras going, yep, it's wet limestone. Yeah. Not too bad. I like the smell of your lumber and the soil. Yeah, topsoil smells great. It does, it has a rich smell. But I'm gonna run up the house, check on Hunter, start dinner, and um, I got a huge order of hoodies. We got some new hoodies. Go to outdoorswithmorgans.com store. Check them out. And uh, hey, I'll put a link in the description. Yeah. Thanks so much. All right. I'll be up a little bit okay. to eat. So this is a uh, little different setup than you're used to seeing. Normally I have the uh, conveyor at the end of the log splitter, but I think this should work out pretty good. All this wood that I'm going to split is going to go in the woodshed right there. I'll split right into the bucket. I'm also going to split some uh, bundle firewood, so I got that basket right there behind me. 
should work out pretty good. I only need about uh, three cord to finish this off. And this bay right here will not be ready for next year. Now, if it was cherry, it would be. But this red oak takes a long time to dry. So this in here will be for the, what is it? 2023, 2024 winter. Like money in the bank right there. And by the way, this log right here, this was a tweener anyways, whether it should be a saw log or firewood. It is 14 inches in diameter. Usually my cutoff's right around 13 inches, but this has a big crack all the way through it. This crack is on the other end. For me, this has more value as firewood. That's why it's gonna go on the log splitter. And this will make some outstanding firewood, by the way. I'm just gonna say it right now. Red oak is by far my favorite firewood. It really is. It splits nice, it burns hot. The only downside to it, it does take a while to dry, but you kind of expect that with a wood that burns really well. So uh, definitely my favorite, red oak. Oh, something else worth a mention. I cut these logs over at the neighbors. I cut them all 10 feet, eight inches long. And the reason I do that, well, there's two reasons. Number one, my dump trailer is 12 feet long, so that gives me a little bit of wiggle room. And number two, I get exactly eight 16 inch rounds out of this, you know, without having any long one or short one at the end or anything like that. It works that good, 10 feet, eight inches. Then, if I want a saw log out of it, I'll get nice 10 footers out of that as well. So that's why I cut these at 10 8. That took all but uh, 10 minutes to fill this bucket up right here. But that red oak, man, that is some nice stuff. That really is. Splits so nice. Burns great. My favorite firewood. Well, Melissa just called, so I think I'm going to wrap this video up and go up and eat dinner. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, Levi and I will get this woodshed filled up. And then I think tomorrow afternoon, 
it may rain some more so before it does that hopefully move some more dirt but things are coming together down here at the wood yard but anyway i appreciate y'all being here and i'll catch you on the next one